Last month, a fire ripped through the Carisdale neighborhood in Vancouver. Multiple businesses and a few residential units were significantly damaged. Honolulu Coffee is a restaurant that has been closed since the fire, but they've still been able to serve their community. Thanks to Jess's restaurant, who opened their doors and offered up their coffee machine. Honolulu Coffee is able to operate as a pop-up shop and continue serving. My, Ming Yang is the owner of Honolulu Coffee and Winston Ho is the general manager for Jess's restaurant. They're both in the studio with us now. Hello. 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 Nice this, is, uh, this story just warmed my heart. It is so wonderful. Uh, you know, from such a tragic incident, Ming, you own Honolulu Coffee. Um, there was this horrible fire in early October. So maybe just walk us through what actually happened. So the fire happened um, on the evening of October 1st. It was um, like the biggest fire I ever seen in mm -hmm. my life. And the fire lasted for overnight and it got put off like the next day in the afternoon. So there's the building, the, our neighbor building was two level building was totally damaged. Okay. And um, there are five business was burned to ash. The fire actually didn't reach us, but there's tons of water goes through in our basement mm -hmm. and our power room was totally damaged. Okay. So that's why the whole building have to shut down and we're still closed and fixing for like waiting for the fix. And what is the current state, I guess, of the restaurant? Any word on, on you know, any developments or how long it will be like this? Yeah, what um, was a long way. We need to get rid of all the water. And right now we finally have a company and find a solution make it like possible to fix okay. so yeah we just start the fixing from this monday and okay. hopefully yeah it's going well okay well at least it's a bit baby steps perhaps but it is off to a good start and and then winston how how did the decision come about to invite honolulu into your restaurant for this sort of pop-up shop so it was kind of kind of personal i'd say because um how we me and meng actually met was probably a month or two right before the actual fire happened okay. and uh her friend and my uh work co-worker actually um they were dating and then they actually wanted us to meet each other okay <laughs> so it's kind of like a blow <laughs> so it's kind of like a the, blind the date plot thickens. <laughs> so i met her probably a month or two right before the fire okay. and then uh that whole dinner meeting first time it was quite awkward but then Officially, like business-wise, we both have that um, mentality of like, okay, let's meet the neighbors. Uh, let's actually, you know, we work within a block of each other. Mm. Let's kind of know everybody around. And then, uh, so I knew about the fire because I was there that night when I was closing the restaurant as well. And I would say I kept driving by every morning, passing Honolulu Cafe. I'm like, why are they closed? Why are right. they closed? Okay. And then I'm like, the fire shouldn't have affected them. So... A weekish, like 10 days in, I sent her a message. I'm like, why are you guys closed? I'm like, did you guys, did something happen? And then the, she explained to me about the whole situation, about the water reaching all the way to like halfway of the generator room. And oh, then wow. uh, okay. they couldn't get the water out. That actually whole block was actually affected because I realized like the London drugs and everybody around there, they were like still blowing air to try to get water mm -hmm. out of the ground. And uh, then I literally told her, I'm like, when do you guys want to, like when it, when's the ETA for it being fixed? Yeah. And they- Yeah, because that time we got yeah. like all, everything is delaying yeah yeah, yeah. It, well, then and they just don't know and yeah. and exactly. you know as you said it, you know regardless of any personal relationship you know it's important these these restaurants and these these establishments and neighborhoods it really forges that sense of community and builds on that sense um, for the neighborhood so you know i would imagine as two business owners you'd want to to further that and and ming why was it so important for you to to try and stay open i mean it must have been overwhelming you maybe just want to go home and hide on the couch no but for us <laughs> we we just wanted to still be there in that neighborhood okay you know and the biggest reason is to support my staff okay yeah we yeah. have a team of around like 10 baristas and I wanted to support their living, yeah. And even, because we're actually doing it, we're supporting their salary, right. but they're getting bored. They want like, oh, when, when are we gonna reopen? I wanna make coffee, <laughs> I don't miss my customers, yeah. Oh, but that's so wonderful that you, you can and do that. And also, yeah, we, when we like walk around in, in the neighborhood and customers keep asking us, when are you gonna go back? When yeah. can we have your coffees? Yeah. yeah, well, hopefully it'll happen sooner rather than later. And uh, Winston, what's the feedback been from your customers? A feedback, I would say, I think they've been here almost a month now yep. i 
think the feedback was very awkward for a lot of the customers walking through really? the door. Really? Because um, – our establishment is a little higher end, and okay. my staff actually has dress coats where, like, we're you know, oh, okay. dress shirts, <laughs> uh, dress pants, and everything. And then suddenly you see the Honolulu team coming in with like t shirts and like tank Yeah, we're oh. a white <laughs> island vibe. <laughs> like the Hawaiian vibe, exactly. like the Hawaiian shirt coming in. So I was just like, I had to explain to every individual coming in, like, what is actually happening and how it was happening, and okay. introducing Honolulu to our customers as well regarding like, this is why this is an awkward image to see that you don't really see. And then that, I think that was the feedback, mostly. <laughs> and how is it now? Are people, you know, this, is, this story has so many layers. There's tragedy, there's maybe some romance, there's, you know, <laughs> opening people's eyes to different ways of life. So, you know, how do they feel now? Are people getting used to it? Are no. your, yeah, are your customers about what showing happened. up in yeah. jeans and t-shirts for dinner now? <laughs> that means I actually don't have to dress as nice anymore hey, when I go to work. <laughs> I like this, I like this. But, uh, <laughs> Ming, what about you? Have your sort of Honolulu regulars been saying, you know, whatever, what their thoughts yeah, at the beginning is just so happy to see us yeah. you know they means our barista and finally can get our hawaiian latte and some of customer you know because yeah um we we kind of have different demographic hmm. yeah customer base like it, right yes. but once they come into the restaurant probably that's gonna be there maybe they live in carousel yeah. for many years but that's the first time they owe, like entering for that restaurant okay so it's kind of fun too I, yeah, think I think probably in the future they're going to go back I think we're both ways because there's people that are our loyal customers at Jess Restaurant. They were like, oh, I've never been to Honolulu. Yeah. And then the same thing with the Honolulu st uh, customers. They were like, oh, I never even knew Jess existed. So oh, that's kind okay. of where it helped both of us, even though we were literally like three-minute walk away from each other. It's fascinating too, mm. like how there can be that divide just in one small neighborhood. Correct. There, You yeah. know, people will be there for years and, and only go to the places that, you know, maybe they feel comfortable in mm. so it's good to see that um you know loosening up and now ming after the fire what does the future of your your caresdale location look like will you be able to reopen there will you maybe have to find another building in the in, in the area so uh we're still looking um definitely wanted to go back to the same spot okay yeah because even the customer like yesterday i was in the jess restaurant and then our regular was asking when are we going to go home? <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. yeah. And what's so special to you about Carisdale? Um, It's about community. Mm -hmm. And that's very, like, blending to our company, Co-Value, and image and a vision as well. Because our philosophy is not only serving coffee, it's um, serving the spirit of aloha to mm -hmm. the community. Yeah. And Carisdale is a very, very strong community base. Yeah. Yeah. And h how about you, uh, Winston? How do I, you feel about Carisdale? I think I can definitely add to that. Is I've been in the Carisdale community for like two to three years right now with this uh, restaurant and this company. And overall, I think the best story that I've had is one time I met a grandma that was dining with us at, uh, she was like 70s. And then she brought in her son the next time, which was in like 40s. Mm -hmm. And then the son brought the fresh graduate 20s coming in and then the next week after was the babies coming in for um dinner and i was just like okay this is a very very special community like it kind of brought me back to the old school time where like how i grew up in vancouver mm -hmm. where it was so heavy neighborhood where you knew everybody um that even times i was telling uh, ming that people were actually buy me Honolulu coffee and bring them over to Jess restaurant and say, here, have this. You should really try this. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, has this sort of opened either of your eyes? Like, you know, um, I mean, would you ever consider keeping, a, you know, a pop-up shop in, in another establishment? Or, you know, is this something that Jess might want to explore is, is continuing to have different partnerships with, you know, maybe businesses that don't typically, uh, or people wouldn't obviously link together? I think I'll keep mine short for now. I think this actually opened my eyes to how close the community mm -hmm. is. And even after they leave, I think in the future, I want to at least do one or two partners within the same neighborhood, depending on what their situations and kind of just open up and like offer them that as long as they're, they want to, or even if they want to go through a renovation, but they're worried about a renovation and they like might right. lose business, right. they can always like come to us and then we'll work it out with them and then we'll let them host and work 
partner up. Oh, well, best of luck to both of you. And, and Ming, I hope that you guys are back in your location and up and running better than ever soon. But uh, yeah, I'm sure when your friend, um, you know, introduced you, this wasn't quite exactly what, what they imagined, but I, I think it seems to be working out great. So thank you. Yeah, even thank, you yeah. <laughs> thank you. All right. Take care. Thank you. Ming Yang is the owner of Honolulu Coffee and Winston Ho is the general manager for Jess Restaurant.